And this major fire is completely destroyed um, Lot D, two story building. Uh, we were able to salvage some records, but the majority of the records were destroyed. And some of these records included um, vestry records, um, city council records, um, records of the mental hospital and general hospital and so on. What, what, what kind of impact would it say have on, on, on some of these records that you have lost? Also? Well, the, the impact would be is that in most cases some of those documents are documents that we cannot retrieve. We may be able to re retrieve some of the information from other documents. But for right now, we have to do um, further assessment. We are actually in the process of salvaging what we can. In terms of uh, employees, how, how does this affect your department? Well, in terms of the employees, um, we don't, we are usually not stationed in the repository. So it would mean that we cannot enter that particular building um, for the records because obviously they were destroyed. But the employees will still be able to come to work and be able to be deployed in the other areas of the archives. Have you ever been to see anything like this? Like this Never. I've been here 38 years and this is the first time and I pray to God that is the last. <laughs> anything to like that? Um, not really. Just feeling a bit sad this morning, you know, because um, we were in the process of procuring a um, fire suppression system in terms of um, protecting the records and so on. Although because of the nature of the fire, um, the fire officer would have informed that because of the lightning strike, it actually tore away the galvanized sheets from off the building. So the fire suppression system will not really have worked because it needs to be contained, the gas needs to be contained within the building.